Hey everyone, it's LaToya. These gems are super important when you're buying your house. Five secrets. So, let's get into it. Buying secret number one. Keep your money where it is. It's not wise to make any huge purchases or move your money around three to six months before buying a new home. You don't want to take any big chances with your credit profile. Lenders need to see that you're reliable and they want a complete paper trail so that they can get you the best loan possible. If you open new credit cards, amass too much debt, or buy a lot of big ticket items, you're going to have a hard time getting a loan. Buying secret number two, get pre-approved for your home loan. There's a big difference between a buyer being pre-qualified and a buyer who has a pre-approved mortgage. Anybody can get pre-qualified for a loan. Getting pre-approved means a lender has looked at all of your financial information and they've let you know how much you can afford and how much they will lend you. Being pre-approved will save you a lot of time and energy so you are not running around looking at houses you can't afford. It also gives you the opportunity to shop around for the best deal and the best interest rates. Do your research, learn about junk fees, processing fees or points and make sure there aren't any hidden costs in the loan. Buying secret number three, avoid a border dispute. It's absolutely essential to get a survey done on your property so you know exactly what you're buying. Knowing precisely where your property lines are may save you from a potential dispute with your neighbors. Also, your property tax is likely based on how much property you have, so it's best to have an accurate map drawn up. Buying secret number four, give your house a, a physical. Would you buy a car without checking under the hood? Of course you wouldn't. Hire a home inspector. It'll cost about $200 to $400, but it can end up saving you thousands of dollars. A home inspector's sole responsibility is to provide you with information so that you can make a decision as to whether or not to buy. It's really the only way to get an unbiased third-party opinion. If the inspector does find any issues with the home, you can use it as a bargaining tool for lowering the price of the home. It's better to spend the money up front on an inspector than to find out later that you have to spend a fortune. Buying secret number five, stalk the neighborhood. Before you buy, get the lay of the land. Drop by morning, noon, and night. Many home buyers have become completely distraught because they thought they found the perfect home, only to find out the neighborhood wasn't for them. Drive by the house at all hours of the day to see what's happening in the neighborhood. Do your regular commute from the house to make sure it is something you can deal with on a daily basis. Find out how far it is to the nearest grocery store and other services. Even if you don't have kids, research the schools because it affects the value of your home in a very big way. If you buy a house in a good school district versus a bad school district, even in the same town, the value can be affected as much as 20%. So if you have any questions, drop them down below in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them. Thumbs up this video if you have a better understanding of what to do when you're buying your home. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.